Well, good morning from Amble Vicarage Garden again. Today it's Sunday morning, the 14th of Sunday after Trinity. And we meet in the name of God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. We begin this service with our sorry prayer. Let us pray. Lord God, we have sinned against you. We have done evil in your sight. We are sorry and repent. Have mercy on us according to your love. Wash away our wrongdoing and cleanse us from our sin. Renew a right spirit within us and restore us to the joy of your salvation through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. May the Father of all mercies cleanse us from our sins and restore us in his image to the praise and glory of his name through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. And so we come to the focus prayer for today. Let us pray. Almighty God, your Son came to save us and bore our sins on the cross. May we trust in your mercy and know your love, rejoicing in the righteousness that is ours through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. So hear the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ according to Mark. Jesus left the region around Tyre and went by way of Sidon toward Lake Galilee. Some people brought to him a man who was deaf and could hardly talk. They begged Jesus just to touch him. After Jesus had taken him aside from the crowd, he stuck his fingers in the man's ears. Then he spit and put it on the man's tongue. Jesus looked up toward heaven and with a groan he said Ephaphatha which means open up. At once the man could hear and he had no more trouble talking clearly. Jesus told the people not to say anything about what he had done but the more he told them the more they talked about it. They were completely amazed and said everything he does is good. He even heals people who cannot hear or talk. Now this is the Gospel of the Lord. Now the story that we've heard this morning of Jesus healing a deaf man is an interesting one. You may think that it's just a story about one man being healed, but I think there's much more to it than that. We don't actually know who he was. We don't know his name, where he came from. And I think that's the point. You see, I don't think it's about one person. I think this person stands for, he represents, he's a symbol of everyone. This is a story of everybody. This man stands for all men, all women, all children. He stands for you, he stands for me. He is the human race. And the point is this, he can't hear. He can't hear. His ears are not open to hearing. Now, I think there's a bit of a metaphor here. When I look around the world, I see problems in society, problems in relationships. And very often, those problems are about people not listening, not being open to what's around them. So we, I see people who have trouble in their marriages and sometimes I think, do you know what, these partners are not really listening to each other. They're not open to the needs of the other one. I see problems in society like problems of the poor, the homeless, the hungry and I think the rest of us, we're just not listening. We're not open to the message that's coming through. I think of politicians that like to speak, but they don't always listen. I think time and time again, there's things going on, but people are not really paying attention to what they need to hear, to really take on board what's going on. But when they listen, when they hear, when they're open, 
then things can change. And it's interesting in the story that Jesus doesn't say to the man, oh, hear this, or I'm going to make you heal. He, he actually says to the man, Ephatha, which means be open, be open, be open to what's around you. And that's a message, not just to that man, it's a message to us all. We all need to open, not just our ears, but we need to open our minds. We need to open more than anything, our hearts. Once we've opened our hearts and minds, then we will truly hear the messages that others have got to send, say to us. We will hear perhaps the words that God has got to speak to us in our, in our hearts. Those around us, our neighbours, um, our loved ones, our, our partners, our children have something to say. And we need to listen if we're going to have a good relationship with them. So the message is this. Let's be open. Let's be open to the possibilities of new life. Let's be open to the forgiveness that God gives us. Let's be open to the, the work that we need to do. Let's be open in our lives that we can hear, be still and hear the things that people need to say, that we can take them on board and then we can act on those messages. Ephatha, be opened. Amen. I, the Lord of sea and sky, I have heard my people cry, all who dwell in dark and sin, my hand will sing. Speak my words to them. Oh, 
I begin with a prayer from the Reverend Malcolm G. Young of the Cathedral of Grace in San Francisco. When evil darkens our world, give us light. When despair numbs our souls, give us hope. When we stumble and fall, lift us up. When doubts assail us, give us faith. When nothing seems sure, give us trust. When ideals fade, give us vision. When we lose our way, be our guide. May we find peace in your presence and purpose in doing your will. Amen. Let us pray to God, whose love embraces all that he has made. Grant to your whole church grace to show true faith through works of love and mercy. Take away all prejudice that causes unequal treatment. May the places where your name is honoured be always open and welcoming to all. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. Have compassion on a world where rich and poor are separated by selfishness and lack of understanding. Inspire those who are rich in this world's goods to respond to the needs of individuals and nations in this time of turmoil and displacement. Be with the refugees, the homeless, the hungry and the frightened. We bring to you especially the needs of those affected by the crisis in Afghanistan, those who have fled, those who seek to escape, and those who are living with a new reality and no choice but to remain. Bless all who work for the relief of poverty and those leading efforts to bring aid where it is most needed. We remember too the power of climate change and its impact. May those tasked with rescue and mitigation find renewed strength to meet the scale of the challenges ahead. Lord hear us, Lord graciously hear us. Make us sensitive to the needs of our own community and generous in support of those who seek our help. Give us ears to listen and willing hearts open to others. Be with our children and young people as they return to school or begin the next stage of life's journey at college and university. We are thankful for the commitment of teachers and all who work to support them. May the year ahead prove fruitful for all our schools. Lord hear us, Lord graciously hear us. We pray for the sick in body, mind or spirit, for all who are suffering, for those who care for them and those who love them. Lord hear us, Lord graciously hear us. We pray for the recently departed and for all who mourn that they may know the comfort of your loving presence. We remember and celebrate the lives of those who died at this time of year. Lord hear us, Lord graciously hear us. We offer our prayer in the name of Jesus, confident in his healing power and loving grace. Amen. And so finally we come to the blessing. The peace of God which passes all understanding, keep your hearts and minds in the knowledge and love of God and of his Son, Jesus Christ our Lord. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be among you all, now and always. Amen. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord. In the name of Christ. Amen.
We hope you enjoyed being part of our Sunday service. If you'd like to know about other online services coming up, then please click the subscribe button on our channel. Thank you.